Good morning. Today is the day before Thanksgiving. I've got a lot of work to do. First, I need to get Oliver's blanket in the wash while he's at the preschool. Then, I have the kitchen to tackle. I have the living room to pick up. It's just got all of his toys everywhere. It might not look messy to you, and that's okay. It's messy to me, and I need to kind of like rearrange things for Thanksgiving because we are hosting. Um, those are my tasks today, along with getting the turkey out of the fridge. It's been in there since Sunday. Today is Wednesday, um, and it's not quite thought out. So I need to get that out and get it kind of moving along because I'm going to dry brine it, put it back in the fridge tonight so I can cook it early in the morning. I need to eat something first, probably. So I might do that first. I might make myself another cup of coffee, get something to eat, sit down, and then get to my tasks. Plus, my grandmother's coming over later this afternoon. She's gonna help me paint my hallway. Um, it's all primed. I've cut in all of the edges. It just needs its final coat of paint. We've been here since August. I think we've been in this house since August and here it is November almost the end of November and I still haven't finished priming or I mean I still haven't finished painting I mean you can't probably see it very well or maybe you can how streaky the wall is and then you can definitely tell over there and then that light switch there it doesn't have a plate on it and the outlet cover doesn't either it's gone so that we can finish painting so we're gonna finish doing that get that all taken care of today I'm going to mop the floors. That's another big to-do thing on my task list. And then if I get all of that done, and if I still have time after, I'm gonna start prepping the dishes for tomorrow. The more I can get done now, the better I will feel tomorrow. I already made one batch of Chex Mix last night, and I'm gonna try and make another one today as well so that I can get it out of the way. It's, it's actually sitting on the stove right now in those two bowls, but the problem is, um, I got tired last night and I didn't want to finish it. <laughs> I don't have the, the sauce on it yet. It's just the dry stuff. So I figured it'd be fine to sit overnight. So come with me as I clean up the house and prepare for the Thanksgiving holiday. I'm really happy to be home and celebrating with my Oregon family, but I am severely missing my Kansas family. Last year we got to spend um, our Thanksgiving and Christmas with them and it was magical. So I'm uh, hoping that someday we'll be able to get to do that again, but I'm very thankful that we're here with my Oregon family and get to spend the holidays here. So, all right, enough rambling, let's get to work. I'm gonna go throw this in the wash.
this week. Um, it's the holiday, it's crazy, but I'm just gonna plan on launching another apparel item. Is it still filming me? <laughs> is it still going? It is still going. Well, that was my morning. I just had a little um, meeting with um, a Facebook group that one of my clients is in and she invited me to it. So I'm gonna go jump on a call with her instead of finish my video and then I'm gonna eat, have my coffee and then I'm gonna tackle the house. So <laughs> let's do this. That did not go at all as I planned it, which is totally fine, That's, that happens. Um, I ended up co-working with uh, Claire for uh, almost two hours. <laughs> So now I need to jump over and pick up Oliver from preschool and I haven't even touched the kitchen yet. I'm just gonna have to do it when I get home. So I'm gonna go pick him up and then when I get back, we'll scarf some lunch. I'll put him down for his nap and then I'll get to cleaning and by that time my grandma should be here to help me paint. So <sighs> I'm gonna run to the restroom, go pick up Oliver and then Hopefully I'll be able to get some stuff done when I get back. I don't know how much I'll be able to film, but I'll try. Pretty tired and I've only done the dining room <sighs> I'm not gonna lie I don't clean very often like I tidy and I wipe up but like deep clean like mopping I vacuum all the time but mopping I don't do that often and I this is the first time I've ever used this contraption and it's nice but I'm still, I'm still not sure how to use it. I could read the directions, but I don't have them because this is my, uh, my mom's I'm borrowing, so. My grandma's on her way over. I've got the drop cloths down in the hallway and I've got everything in the garage ready to pour the paint out. So when she gets here, we can do that. She can paint, I can finish mopping in here and then tackle the kitchen because I still haven't started the kitchen dishes yet. Let's, uh, mop the kitchen and by the time we're done with that, grandma should be here. All right, it's a little bit later, it's 5.19. Um, my grandma got the hallway painted, which is amazing. Garrett is vacuuming and he's gonna be mopping the bathrooms and cleaning those. And I got the living room and like the main area all mopped. And now I, I got the dishwasher loaded with some of the dishes, but I still have quite a bit to hand wash. And then after that, I can finally start working on uh, making the last batch of Chex Mix and I actually I might put that in before I do the dishes just so that that takes an hour So I'll probably do that here in a second and then I got the table all set kind of almost So here's what the table looks like So 
So we opted for the Christmas tablecloth. I don't have any Thanksgiving plates and stuff and these are really lightweight and my mom already had them out so we went with those. I'm borrowing them from her. So it's more Christmassy than See? anything. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. So yeah, um, kind of went for a Christmassy theme and the house is kind of decorated for Christmas anyway, so it kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna go tackle all that and then do food stuff. So let's do it. I got this cleared off and then I filled it back up. <laughs> this is going back and this is going back. I have this one that's mine and then my mom let me borrow hers. So I have two of these. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. I'm thinking one for rolls or maybe I'll put rolls in both and we'll put the rolls on the table so that people don't have to get keep getting up. This one is probably gonna be the sweet potato casserole. Obviously the turkey goes in here. I need to wash it. And then the green bean casserole will go in this one, or vice versa, I'm not sure. I'll probably put the green beans in there. Depends on which one it fits better in. And then uh, I just need that to wash the green beans. So taking these away, but I put this paper down. I saw a TikTok where people were like writing on this paper and pointing to the dishes. So we're gonna do kind of like a buffet style, I think. And then people will just take their plates get their food and then sit back down. So we have this really nice peninsula in the kitchen. And so um, we're just gonna have people come to the edge here and then come around this way. And they should be able to reach all the food. I'm gonna pull, pull the trays closer to the front of the kitchen here. So there is probably gonna be enough room for people to come on this side, but if there's people sitting here, I figure the chair would probably be about there, so it would be kind of a, yeah, it'd be a tight squeeze to get in and out through there. So that's why I didn't cover the whole thing and I just covered this half so that people would come to this side. So I need to dry and put away those dishes and then I need to finish the Chex Mix and then I have to get the turkey out and get that dry brining. A dry rub on the turkey, which I still haven't looked up yet because I'm kind of a procrastinator, but that's just <laughs> the way it is. Um, so I need to make sure I get that done tonight. Everything else I could do tomorrow. We're eating at two and I usually get up pretty early. So like the green, pe green bean casserole, the uh, sweet potatoes, the mashed potatoes, and the turkey and the cranberry sauce. I could do the cranberry sauce tonight. In fact, I might do that because it can just simmer away on the stove and then I just um, run it through a sieve um, to get it really fine and like jellied almost, not really a relish. Um, so I actually probably will use that to pass it through there. I think that's all that I need to do. And I don't think I need to fish out any more dishes except I might need another pot to boil the other potatoes because I have sweet potatoes and russet potatoes. So I need to make a giant thing of mashed potatoes, which I have seen recipes on people doing it in the crock pot. 
and I'm tempted because then that's one less thing on the stove and that's one more thing that can keep warm in a container. So I might do the mashed potatoes in the crock pot, then I can just literally keep it on the counter and keep it covered and keep it warm um, and, and plugged in. So I might do that. Um, my parents are gonna bring over a um, toaster oven so that I can bake one of the dishes uh, tomorrow. And I think we're gonna put that in the laundry room on top of the washer because there is a plug in there. So I think we're good on that. And yeah, that is it for right now. The dry rub which is from uh, something zoo taste of the zoo taste tasting in the zoo dinner at the zoo <laughs> um, their dinner at the zoo.com their turkey rub is what I'm using mix all the stuff together rub the spice mix mixture all over your turkey as well as under the skin then cook as desired can be made up to two months in advance based on a 10 to 12 pound turkey. And this one is actually 15 pounds. So I might need to make some more. You can use fresh herbs if you want, blah, blah, blah. This also says to, it's best marinated overnight in the fridge. But what I'm not sure is if I need to cover it. Um, some recipes say that if you don't cover it and you leave it in the fridge uncovered, that the skin will dry out and it'll help to get it crispier. <clears throat> so I don't know, this one doesn't say if I should cover it. Yes, in fact, I recommend doing this whenever possible. Leave the rub on the turkey overnight, allows the salt and spices to penetrate the meat and cook the bird. Rub, loosely cover it with plastic wrap and store it in the fridge for up to 24 hours before you plan to cook it. Okay, so we're good. So, with that being said, I should make more rub, but I'm not going to because tomorrow I'm also going to put a crap ton of butter on it. So I'm going to damp, get the dampness off with paper towels.
Watch out. My pizza's made out of a cobble. My pizza. And that's so a wrap on the turkey. I am gonna finish the so Chex Mix. And I might do the cranberry sauce, but I gotta sit down. My back is killing me. So I'm gonna go take a break, hang out with my son for a little bit, and then I'm gonna do the, probably do the cranberry sauce, and then I'll do everything else tomorrow. <laughs> so tired. Good morning. It is 7.14 a.m. on Thursday, the 23rd, which is Thanksgiving. So I'm getting ready to prep all of the casseroles for today. So we've got the green bean casserole, the loaded sweet potato casserole. I'm also gonna work on the cranberry sauce. So I'm gonna get everything prepped. The sweet potato casserole takes about 30 minutes. The green bean casserole takes about an hour to bake. So when the turkey comes out to rest for an hour, then I'll put in <clears throat> the green bean casserole for that time. And then the sweet potatoes, I think I'm gonna cook I don't know. Well, my parents are bringing over their um, the toaster oven, so I'm probably going to do the sweet potatoes in that, I think, and they should fit just fine in the dish that I think I'm going to put them into, so it should fit in there no problem. So <clears throat> I can bake that while the green bean casserole is baking, and we should be okay. I'm going to start prepping. My husband's going to come in and help me. I'm going to task him with tidying tidying things which uh, he's not gonna appreciate but it is what it is and uh, I think first I'm gonna get started on the cranberry sauce because I can put that in the fridge to chill so cranberry sauce prep the beans prep the sweet potatoes and then I'll prep the potatoes closer towards dinner time because those are all stove so here we go Cranberry sauce takes three cups of sugar.
All right, so we have mashed the sweet potatoes for the casserole. So I'm gonna assemble that. And then I just need to cook the rest of the green bean casserole, um, make the gravy stuff that goes in it. And then I need to, oh, I've already done the cranberry sauce. So the only thing left, it's all, it's 8.30. So the turkey needs to go in by nine. So I'm about to preheat the oven for that. And then I need to get that out of the fridge and start stuffing it with all the, um, all the aromatics and then that will be ready to go in and then we're coasting after that smooth sailing after we get the turkey in the oven until about like an hour before we eat because we've got a lot of stuff that needs to bake and then try and keep it warm while the turkey finishes cooking and then resting so that is where we are at the moment. People will probably get here around one-ish. We need to find something to eat for breakfast because I'm hungry and you really shouldn't skip breakfast on Thanksgiving. That is a no-no. Even though we're gonna eat early, still need to get something to eat. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. So I'm gonna finish trimming these and uh, make some casseroles. Whatever sausage, breakfast sandwich, and uh, hash browns. It's not on the road. Not on the road? No, it's not on the sidewalk either. You sure? No. Hmm. Hold on, bud. What's in that chicken hole? <laughs> it's a turkey. Oh, a turkey. Oh, it's better. I want better. Mommy. Don't touch it, it's raw. Only mommy can touch it because mommy's gonna wash her hands really good. Mommy. Yeah, bud. I wanna put stuff in that chicken hole. <laughs> you wanna stuff the chicken hole too? Yeah. I just wanna put food in there. You just wanna put food in it? Yeah. I know, I'm putting food in it too, huh? Uh, hey, I wanna do it. The turkey is in. The turkey's in the oven. It is 9.07. 9.07, turkey's in the oven. And now, um, I just have to assemble the other casseroles, green potato, uh, green, green bean and sweet potato, and clean up a little bit, um, prep the mashed potatoes, and that's it. So I'm gonna get going on the other two casseroles so I can sit down and take a break. Uh, Garrett went to go get some breakfast for us because I'm starving. 
And yeah, I mean, it's nine o'clock. I got started at what, like seven this morning? So another couple hours to prep the casseroles. And I can sit down and relax for a little bit, I think. So yeah, let's, um, I'm working on the sweet potato first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, oh, I didn't put any garlic on the turkey. That's okay. Your house under the couch? Yeah. Hmm.
So the green bean casserole is done and prepped. I'm gonna cover it with foil, put the lid on it, put it in the fridge. We have to actually postpone dinner by about an hour because my dad is in the ER. He's okay as far as we know, but he has low blood pressure and um, his heart rate is all funky. So um, I can postpone everything else, but the turkey's already in, so I'll just have to try and keep it warm for an additional hour so we'll we'll see how that goes so i'm going to put this in the fridge i'm going to check the turkey and then we're going to have a really small quick bite i have to feed the child so i'll probably make him some macaroni or something so we're going to do that reset clean up i also have the recipes to peel and get ready so we're we're getting close but we'll see what happens So here's the problem. I put it in too early. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer, but it didn't. It's reaching well above temp it's reading well above temperature, so I'm a little scared that it's gonna dry out. So I turned off the oven, took it out. I'm gonna rest it on the top of the stove for about 30, 40 minutes, and then I'm going to cover it with foil and put it back in the oven to stay warm until we're ready to cook the other stuff. It's 12.30 and with postponing dinner an hour to about three, who knows, we'll see. So my goal now is to try and keep this turkey from drying out and keep it warm until 2.30, so that's like two hours. So it's not that bad, but we'll see how it goes. And I'm just not cooking anything else until I hear back from my mom. So we're in a holding pattern right now. The turkey looks amazing though. So we'll see what happens. Okay, the turkey is done. It is resting right here. I let it rest uncovered for 20 minutes and then I put foil on top and now it's got some towels on top to help keep it insulated. So hopefully, <laughs> It'll be okay. I think it might be a little bit dry, but it is what it is. So now it's 1.10. My uh, parents are going to pick up a prescription and then they are gonna, I think, go home and regroup. So I think we're still on for around two-ish. I'm still waiting to put the green bean casserole in the oven because that takes an hour. I'm gonna get the gravy ready to go. I'm not gonna make it yet, but I'm gonna get it kind of like I have to strain all of the aromatics out of the drippings and then I'm going to put those into a container to use those in the gravy. I'm going to um, peel and put the rusted potatoes in water and get that ready, but I'm not going to start it until I put the sweet potatoes in probably. Those take a half hour, so um, I should be getting some company starting to come over in about 20 minutes and as soon as they get here I probably won't film very much um, But I will try to remember to film as much of the food all laid out as possible and then um, To show you a little bit here and there, but I will show you the menu that I wrote earlier So here is our Thanksgiving menu and I just wrote everything that we're eating today um, I did the turkey, the mashed potatoes, the gravy, the loaded sweet potatoes, and the green bean casserole. And then I delegated everything else to everybody. Uh, so pretty much everybody's bringing something, which is fantastic. It's the way I prefer it. Here's what the table looks like. Oh, my battery's gonna die again. I've been filming too much today. Here's what the table looks like. My aunt brought a beautiful bouquet of flowers and then we've just got everything set up there. So I have to change the battery. I'll bring you guys back for the food and everything so you can see what it looks like and I'm going to start peeling potatoes. Thank you. 